Hey guys, hope you are all doing great. Let's fasten our seatbelts for an easy demo on how to add beautiful text animations on a video using Typedo and customize it according to how you want it. So I got a project created already with the video uploaded and let's just take a quick look at the video now. So I click on the play button here. Cool. This looks like a good spot to add some text. This is the landscape view of a town in Kerala that is in India, and Kerala is widely regarded as God's own country. So maybe we can try to drive home a point here using text to our audience. You can check out the left panel here, and this is where all the text options are laid out. You've got the basic options here, and you've got the exquisite options too, which are basically motion graphic text templates that animate beautifully. In this video, we'll try to focus only on the basic text options. So I click on Strong here. As you can see, the text already shows up. The way to change the content of the text is very easy. You can just click there on the text area. You can extend the text area horizontally by clicking on the handle here. You can just drag it. That's how it works, and if you want the font size to be larger, you can just click on the bottom right handle here and you can just drag it again. You can make it smaller or larger using this feature. We don't have the concept of font sizes in Typedo. You drag and make it bigger or smaller. Let me also show you how to position text on the video. Right now you are in the selected mode, and you click anywhere on the video and the text gets deselected. When you just hover the text, you can see that there is an area which gets highlighted. And you just click anywhere in this area and just drag it wherever you want to have it on the video. So we can have it as a lower third or in the top area. In this video, I'll prefer to have it somewhere in the center. So I'll keep it here. I also want it to be really big and bold. So yeah, this is a good place to keep it. Now let's look at the other text options we have. Yeah, first one is the font. You can change the font style of the text. We've got a very good collection on Typedo. We are in fact adding many more awesome fonts in the days to come. I like Cooper Hewitt. Cooper Hewitt makes it look bold and strong. Just click on it and it will show you the preview. You have the text alignment options, left and right option. I will prefer to keep it in the center in this video. You've got color. This is very important. You'll probably want to have the color of the text be something which contrasts well with the video at the background. Preferably not something like this one here, or even black. You could go with white here. It will look good. Yeah, let me just position the text a little more to the center. Now let's look at the other options. You've got transparency option here. This is very important when you don't want your overlay graphics, the text and images to obstruct the video content. In that case, you can use the transparency slider here to decide what level it should be, opaque or transparent for that matter. So let me give it 100 because I'm not worried about transparency in this video. And after that, we've got the in and out animation options. Before going to that, let's just see how the text appears on the video right now. So I click outside and go back. Yeah, you saw that the text kind of fades in and fades out, and it stays for approximately two to three seconds. You can change the entry animation using this option here. Currently, it's defaulted to fade in. You can move it to from left, and the out, you can make it to right. Now let's just see what happens. So that's about text animation in and out options. Now I want to talk about the duration for which the text would be on the video. So that is controlled by this area on the text editor. Typedo is designed in a way that it lets you specify when the text should enter or exit at a frame level. Let me play the video here. 
you can see some components here which I will explain. So there's this green marker here which marks exactly when the animation starts. And the red marker denotes when it ends. You've got in and out buttons here. They are used to modify the markers in and out. Let me play the video first and then explain. This is where the landscape view starts. So I would want the text to come in here. So click on in here and keep playing. That's three seconds of text. I think that would be enough. So I click on out. What happens is that the in and out gets configured for this text animation now. You can also see that since it's white, it's not very evident. But there's this area where the text that you added gets represented on the overlays section. Let me just change the color so that it becomes more clear. This gives an idea about where exactly the text is placed on the video. The overlay section is in alignment with the video timeline here. So let me get back to white. Let's look at the other options now. Copy works very similar to how a text editor works. When you click on copy, what happens is the text, which you had here, gets copied to the clipboard with all its properties like entry and exit animations and others. And you could go to some other area of the video and you just click on this and it gets pasted. So let me just type it out as organic oranges. So it preserves all the properties of text which were there in the previous selection. The last option is basically delete. If I want to delete an object, a text, or any other element, I can just click on delete and it gets deleted. So that pretty much covers all the text options we have on Typedo. Try it out, let us know how it works out for you. We'd love to know your feedback and improve on this experience. Thank you.